Hey guys, I'm back to another Lumion Legacy video. In today's video, it is I, Kyle Pika, and Job Cross. Happy birthday. Also, uh, we're here to talk about Lumion Legacy's third anniversary event, or really the second one, right? I mean, the first anniversary event was the public release, so yeah. Uh, hey, Job Cross, how are you doing today? I'm great, and as Kyle said, it is actually my birthday today. I am now 17 years old. So, yep. yay me. Yay. Uh, you might be wondering why we have these get glows equipped and why we're in Galvanite Cave specifically. But, uh, you may not know, but, like, during, like, the first anniversary event, you could collect these get glows in the wild. So, like, if it would be a silver one, uh, I had a bronze one out a second ago, which is this one. Uh, Kylo has a gold one, and so do I. There's one more color I don't have, which is emerald, but uh, I wanted that the most. Here's a ruby one, which is the second most rare of them, and the sapphire one, which was the most rare version of it. Hmm. Okay. Nice. Uh, these get glows actually are rallyable. However, you cannot get them as skins. They can be rallied, but you can't get skins from them. Yeah, exactly. And, uh,. Yeah, uh, you know, you can encounter some coplings here in Galvanite Cave as well, but, uh, that's not the main reason why we're here. So, Jeff Cross, can you tell us what's so special about Galvanite Cave? So, Galvanite Cave is actually where we received, like, our first boost, um, for, like, our watches. So, uh, here we were able to get, uh, some flashing lights for, like, dissipating, like, the veils of darkness. So, like... You can um like clear the path and then go towards places. Uh, you can clear some paths for like move manuals and stuff. But the most important thing is like it could power things, and it's most likely a soul crystal. Um, so what I was thinking, it might be linked to soul burst. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, obviously, and uh, soul burst coming out in Atlantean. Part 2, and, uh, well, we can't wait for it that longer, can we? I mean, it should come out in 2022, I am hoping. Uh, Jeff Goss, what are your predictions for when we'll see Soul Burst in Lumen Legacy? Hmm. I feel like from what they've said, they've said a few months, but I feel like we should take that with a little bit of salt and add maybe, like, one or two more months, personally. However, some people are speculating that, you know, like some Soul Burst, like Soul Burst will release today. What I have to say to that is, if they do, if they do, it'll be extremely minimal. I estimate two to five Soul Bursts if it's like on the 20th, which is like, you know, the anniversary day for Lumine Legacy, if you didn't know that, which is in two days. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean... I'm not expecting too much, uh, and I really don't think they're going to make it come out tomorrow, I mean, day after, because they would definitely probably give some, like, a, a, a heads up about it. I mean, uh, this is probably, like, after Atlantic, this is probably the biggest thing that might ever get uh, old Pokemon Brick Bronze players back into the game, which is like, you know, Lumion Legacy's Mega Evolution, so, yeah, this yeah. has... They have to take It'll be time. pretty interesting, and, like, you know, a lot of battle mechanics will also be coming with it. So, yeah, that's going to be uh, extremely appealing to some people. Yeah. And, uh, uh, depending on the location, I have a little question for you, Kylo. Do you think Oxidrake will get a full burst? Uh, no, I don't. And the reason I think this is because... Actually, maybe because they might want to like look at it as like a requite uh or a quasa, but uh yeah, I mean who knows? I mean Requaza did get a mega evolution, so maybe Oxidrake will get a soul burst, but it's still too early to tell. And I think Oxidrake might not be like the initial one to get it. Definitely wait for like the starters to get it, and then we'll see after that. Personally, for the sake of PvP, I hope starters do not get it. But yeah, yeah, it'll it'll help for the player base. But for PvP wise, yikes! 
Yeah, but I think we can all tell starters are going to get it. I think it's pretty obvious at this point. Uh, either they do or they don't. Or, like, some special ones do. Like, either, like, you know, the light, dark, and uh, ice-type ones will. But um, the normal Pokemon types, you know, like the normal Pokemon starters won't get them. Or, like, vice versa, maybe. Mm. That could happen, but, yeah. Meh, exactly. And, uh, yeah, uh, Jeff, is there anything else you want to add? Mm. Well, um, I was going to maybe talk about, like, um, if they were going to add Solbers, they did say it would be a few at first. I'm not sure how many that exactly means, but it might be close to my prediction, two to five, which is minimal. So if they do decide to get it ready and be released on the anniversary event, yeah, expect don't get too high hopes. It will be minimal, but we never really know what's going to actually get the full burst, uh, like, you know, until people figure it out or, like, they hint at it. Yeah, exactly. And uh, remember, guys, these are only, uh, like, our theories and speculations. Nothing is actually confirmed. We are hoping for more news tomorrow or day after regarding this, or even if there will be an anniversary event. So, <clears throat> yeah, guys, remember, nothing is confirmed. These are just, like, two random kids talking about their theories. <laughs> and uh, uh, We could get, like, another skin event with uh, Gekla, which was the original event. We could actually get the El Iguana Saddle if you got a gold Gekla to show to a specific trainer. He'd reward you this El Iguana Saddle. Uh, Kylo does not have it because his account was not used and, like, he didn't get the saddle during that period yeah. with this account he has. Uh, I did. Um, here it is. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So maybe they might release, you know, like, another skin event, maybe another saddle, like, limited saddle. By the way, fun fact, this is the first limited saddle in all of Lumion Legacy. Hmm. Um, yeah. I'm not saying I have I'm not saying I was the one to get first I'm just saying like that was one of the to first yeah exactly right. uh, do you have anything to add on? Uh, <clears throat> yes actually Uh, with the Lumion Legacy anniversary just two days away it's also important to note that Lumion Legacy has gotten nominated for a Bloxy award congratulations oh yeah yeah I remember uh, that yeah, uh, the, I don't have high hopes considering its competition. The jailbreak. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but, considering that yeah. uh, Lumion Legacy is actually still in like its developing stage, it's still not complete. The other games are, and they're like adding more, um, you know, like quality of life type of things, like more cosmetics and stuff. But in Lumion Legacy, actual development is going on, and like. The best, the uh, worst part is, like, Atlantean Part 2 isn't here yet. So, like, when Blocks, for, when uh, the Bloxy, I, I forgot how to, what was it called again? The uh, Bloxy Awards. Bloxy Awards, when they, like, uh, you know, get announced. Uh, for that sake, we hope that maybe Blooming Legacy gets another chance when, you know, Atlantean Part 2 comes out with Soul Burst. So, like, you know, it'll be actually really highly rated compared to right now, unless they manage to put in a few or, like, put in the update before that uh, voting period. Yeah, so uh, remember, guys, go click the link in the description down below to, and play this game made by the devs of Roblox and uh, vote for Lumion Legacy as the best content update game. If you want, uh, I understand the other games there are pretty good, so, you know. <laughs> uh, Lumion Legacy really does need support. I'm We're not trying to force you into this, but I honestly feel like it'd be better if they got this, you know, uh, like they had this award thing after Atlantia Part 2 has been released, which would be way better, way, way better. Yeah, exactly. And uh, not to mention, guys, me and Jovkos and a few other people are working on our very own P uh, FPS game, uh, Street Smart. You guys can go check out the beta version, or like the pre-release as we call it, in the description down below as well. 
And uh, yeah, guys, more updates to Street Smart will be coming soon. We will definitely be trying to get more work done. A few things need, a few uh, formalities need to be completed first, and then we can let you guys know more. And uh, yeah, guys, that's pretty much all we have to say. And uh, we do have a Discord, so yeah. yeah, yeah, you can go join it. Yeah, you know, you get a little bit early uh, time of updates and like what we're, what we might post. Yeah. And uh, you can also have a voice in deciding what videos we make and stuff, and you can vote in polls and stuff like that. So, yeah, definitely very, right. very cool. Uh, all right, guys, this is Kyla Pika and Jock Rolling, Rolling out. Rolling out.